Hello everyone, and welcome to Paleo Facts, your quick access to paleontology facts. This is the third episode of the series, so be sure to show your support by liking this video and subscribing to my channel for more episodes. Today, we will be going over the duck-billed and crested dinosaur known as Corythosaurus casuarius. In 1911, famous paleontologist Barnum Brown the same who discovered T-Rex, was searching for dinosaurs at the Red Deer River. This body of water cuts through the dinosaur park formation in southern Alberta, Canada, which has yielded many different dinosaurs throughout its history. Dr. Brown, also known as Mr. Bones, uncovered a hadrosaur here, which are commonly known as duck-billed dinosaurs. However, this hadrosaur was noticeably different when discovered in the fall of 1912 and then described by Dr. Brown in 1914. Firstly, the first skeleton that Mr. Bone uncovered from the southern Alberta rock was extremely complete. It even had skin impressions along with preserved tendons the animal would have utilized in life. Secondly, another skeleton was discovered, and in description of these two skeletons in 1914, to the Bulletin of the AMNH, also known as the American Museum of Natural History, Barnum Brown mentions, slightly paraphrased here, a high helmet-like crest formed by nasal bones. This feature of Mr. Bones' hadrosaur find is similar to the crest of a modern-day cassowary or ancient Greek helmet known as a Corinthian helmet. Thus, a new genus for this discovery was made, and Corythosaurus casuarius, the helmet lizard, was born. Today, the AMNH American Museum of Natural History still displays the holotype, which is the first scientific find, of Corythosaurus, and the second skeleton within its Ornithian Dinosaur Hall, both of which are extremely well preserved to this day. Corythosaurus casuarius is a dinosaur scientifically classified into the family known as Hadrosauridae, commonly known as duck-billed dinosaurs, and is also in the tribe known as Lambiosaurini which contains many other crested hadrosaurs. Corythosaurus is currently most closely related to the North American and similar in appearance genus Hapracosaurus, the Russian genera Neponosaurus and Aloro Titan, and the Mexican genus Velifrons. Corythosaurus casuarius also shares its genus name with the slightly smaller second species, known as Corythosaurus intermedius. Furthermore, Corythosaurus casuarius were one of the larger hadrosaurs, growing to 27 to 30 feet long, which is approximately 8.1 to 9 meters, weighing in at an average of 382 tons, that's 3.76 long tons and 4.21 short tons. 20 Corythosaurus skulls have been found and all show a characteristic tall, elaborate bony crest atop its skull in the shape of a helmet, which contained hollow, elongated nasal passages. The skull, however, itself is shorter than other hadrosaur skulls, such as the shovel-like Edmontosaurus skull or the big-nosed Critosaurus skull. The most likely function of Crithosaurus's helmet hollow crest is thought to be vocalization. The sounds produced could serve to alert other Corythosauruses to the presence of food or alert others to a potential threat from predators, similar to the function of an alarm. However, they all probably made low-pitched sounds based on their ear structure which are very similar to modern-day crocodilian ears. A Corythosaurus specimen has been preserved, with its last meal in its chest cavity. Inside the cavity were remains of conifer needles, seeds, twigs, and fruits. Corythosaurus probably fed on all of these. Corythosaurus' lifestyle is thought to have been cathermal, active throughout the day at short intervals, while also acting with a niche of browsing. Corythosaurus casuarius has been identified in not just the dinosaur park formation, but also the Oldman formation. It's a place that is also located in southern Alberta, Canada. 
unlimited fauna is known from the Oldman Formation, and Corythosaurus casuarius, as well as Corythosaurus intermedius, are among the genera recognized. Also from this lost world of the Oldman Formation is the frightful Tyrannosaur Displetosaurus, the Dromaeosaurus Ornitholestes, other Hadrosaurs such as the Brachylophosaurus, Gryposaurus and Parasaurolophus, the Ankylosaur Scolosaurus, and the Ceratopsians Coronosaurus and Chasmosaurus. As mentioned before, Crithosaurus cassowarius appears widespread throughout the Dinosaur Park formation. In it, Crithosaurus was found to be closely associated with the Ceratopsian Centrosaurus apertus. Crithosaurus also lived alongside other numerous giant herbivores, such as the Hadrosaurus, Gryposaurus, and Parasaurolophus, the Ceratopsians, Centrosaurus, and Chasmosaurus, which I made a video on, and Ankylosaurus, Edmontonia, and Dipolosaurus. Studies of the jaw anatomy and mechanics of these dinosaurs suggest that they probably all occupied slightly different ecological niches. In order to avoid direct competition for food in such a crowded ecospace, the only large predator known from the same levels of the dinosaur park formation as Crithosaurus is the swift Tyrannosaur Gorgosaurus. Both the Oldman and Dinosaur Park formation were composed of rivers and floodplains. The climate of southern Alberta was warmer than present day, however was at the time seasonal with wet seasons made up of storms, coupled with arid dry seasons. Conifer trees, ferns, angiosperms, also known to many as flowers or flowering plants, and cycads were the dominant foliage in these areas. This has been a scientific summary of the duckbill dinosaur Corythosaurus casuarius. Thanks for watching. <laughs>